a crazy package time today. This is a crazy package time. First off, I'd like to apologize to everyone who keeps sending us all these crazy, awesome yeah, packages. Yeah, it is crazy. We have pizza and cheese curls. Yeah, you have pizza and cheese curls for lunch. Um, I've been insanely busy this spring, just getting everything ready for the Garrett day when they came to town, and it's not easy finding a permission, old permissions to host eight plus diggers, cameramen, stuff like that, and I've been burning myself out with editing, and YouTube, and Facebook, and emails, and eBay, and everything else, and between all that, I have a full-time job, and most importantly, I'm a full-time father, and we've been doing some fun stuff this summer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's so, that's so here, here's everything that's uh, been piling up over the last couple of months, I want to say, and I'm sorry it's taken so long to do this, but here we go. Um, I've cut into everything, so hopefully it'll speed up the process, and I'm going to do things a little different this time. I'm going to just flash a picture of the notes, the letters that people sent, instead of, instead of reading them out loud, <laughs> and hopefully we'll get through this and everybody gets to see us open their package. So. Uh, no order. Let's just go. What? Uh, Everybody, here, let's do this. Face. No, that's not nice. Um, these are from our buddy Gregory Stout. I met up with him a couple weeks ago, and he has something here for all the guys. So, okay. the guys aren't here. I don't know when I'm going to see the guys again. So, anytime yeah. there's something for the guys or some sort of game or anything, I'm just going to put them in this bag, and hopefully, you'll see them later in some other video. Or we'll figure it out as we go. But uh, Greg is, we call him Meat Stick Stout because he, his family makes uh, these amazing meat sticks and they're already gone, but we have stuff for the guys there. Um, what are we going to do? What should we go? What should we pick? Um, this one. The big one? Yeah, this one, the little one. Seamus said the big one. Let's get the big one out of the way. Well, we have stuff here from all over the world. This one comes from our loyal subscriber, Fabian Matoni, and this is from France. He has sent things in the past. And, well, here we go. Here's the letter. We'll flash that up on the screen. I'll read it to the kids, and we'll get into the actual packages. All right, guys, there's stuff for everybody in here. It says the, uh, the chocolate box is only for the adults because there's some alcohol in there. We like that. So let's see. Phone balls! Oh, <laughs> Whoa! Can you guys juggle? Yeah! Can you guys juggle? No. Hold on. Yeah, I can too. Wow, we got some gloves for the guys. Good lord, Fabian. Yeah! You are ridiculous, sir. Yeah! We have a whole bunch of little uh, Ziploc baggies. Fines, gel knee pads. It's funny because I haven't had knee pads. Wow. I haven't used knee pads in a long time and I needed a good set and those will come in handy. Thank you, sir. We have more foam balls. And more. Woo! This colored foam ball. And we have some chocolates from mommy and daddy. Yeah. Oh, those look amazing. Oh, Fabian, here's another one. Oh, these are not for the kids. You guys can try these ones. Bye! These are fruit, and there's one with nuts in them. We don't have any allergies to those things. Thank you so much, for Fabian. Um, it's nothing like delicious chocolates from across the sea. Oh, man. You guys are so awesome and thoughtful. Here, let's, let's try to keep everything sort of... Yes. You can play with the balls all you want, buddy. Let's keep everything together. Let's keep this train rolling. Um, Shane, you want to do the little one, right? Yeah. This one comes from Michael Lehman. In layman's terms, let's see what he sent. Uh oh. Awesome! What? A bunch of pins. Hold on, let's see if there's a note. There's no note. There's some fire department patches. Oh, wow. Check that out. Danger past. It's got a wolf on there. Oh. Woof! Oh. A 
I'll be sure to give one of those to Bill. Bill? We have all kinds of pins. Yeah, all kinds of We got some with Merco on them. It's an American flag. And, and another American flag. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. I can't see what that other flag is. I don't have my glasses on. Those are awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. You love playing with foam balls, don't you, buddy? Yeah. Those are beautiful patches. All right, let's try to keep all this together and put that one over there. Now what? Somebody grab one. Let's do this one. Yeah. This, I've, I've been holding on to this one for a while. This is from uh, Marcus Borden. Marcus. And he's been hunting a lot with Angie's Adventures. I get and a Marcus in my class. You do? Mm -hmm. And uh, they've been doing really good. And she had a big seated spill. It's video is only a minute and a half long. It's absolutely awesome. You guys be sure to check that out. Here is his letter. I'll read it to my kids, and you guys can pause it and read it if you'd like. Kurt, I never saw you dig a barber half. Uh-oh, I'm kind of worried where this is going. This feels like a half. If he sent me a, a half. Oh, my goodness. And there's a bezel, I think. Yeah. Look bezel. at that. A barber half dollar and a bezel. You I'm going to run out of room here soon. Yeah. <laughs> I have not yet found a barber half. 1905. Barber half. S, minted in San Francisco. That's a beautiful coin. This was his first half, and only half he's ever dug. Unbelievable, Mark. I'm sweating. It is hot out here. People are so kind to me their finds. Seamus, so here's some coins for you guys. Whoa! Do you know what these are? No. You, buffalo nickel! Yeah, buffalo nickel. What else is in there? Yeah, Native American head scents. Wow. Those are beautiful coins. We got a V nickel. You know what this is? Um, no. You you don't know what, what this is? is? This? Why is why is this this penny shiny like that? Okay. Why does it look silver? It's made out of steel. In 1943, they made our pennies out of it's steel so they could save the these? copper for the war for World War II. Look at all this, man. Awesome Indian head scents. So we'll put these sense. in your guys' collection. Yeah, Mark, that's ridiculous. Sense. Thank you so much. Everybody go check out Angie's Adventures. They've been doing awesome, finding some great things. And they've been a long time supporter of our channel. And I yeah, thank you guys so much. I all right, we'll put all this back. So when we use Barber Half Dollar. Yeah, Barber Half Dollar. It's candy. That's just really cool. That's just the luck I need. Yeah. You All right, it. next one. Yeah, yeah let's, one. let's do this one. Oh, yeah. This one comes from Mike Austin. He's the guy who did the design on the Mike new shirts. Austin? The new All Holes Matter shirts. And he wanted to send you some artwork for you guys. <laughs> Yay! At least that's what Go I think away. this is. All right, I, I believe this is the letter. We'll do a close-up of the letter. Everybody can stop and read it if they'd like. I'll look you over with the kids. He made birthday cards for the kids. Oh, so you guys can't see these until your birthday. <gasps> maybe, maybe we'll have you a sneak peek. Look at that. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't read the inside. Now, Mark is in uh, Mike. Mark, man, dude, Mike. Is an artist in Pennsylvania, or Pennsylvania. He's an artist in Canada, a tattoo artist. Oh, wow. Look at that, Seamus. He is an awesome artist. And there's Callahan. Oh, my God. <laughs> you guys, You guys can get them on your birthdays. We don't have any coming up while you guys are winter babies. So you can see them again on your birthday. Mike. You yeah, outdid yourself. Thank you so much. Yay! Birthday card in my um, what, What's his YouTube channel? See if he has it on here. Yeah. The Older Relic Austin. <laughs> he's out in Canada, but he finds some incredible colonial sites, yeah, and he's yeah. been wrecking it in uh, the metal detecting department. So, if you guys want to check out some more great videos, no, look no further. Making a snowman did good. Making a snowman. Good job, buddy. Ah! He's falling apart. He's melting. All right, what else? Uh, All right, let's put, which one did we just, this one here? Um, this one was Seamus' that he wanted to do. This one? 
This one is from Martin Matthews. Martin I actually Matthews. opened this already. He sent us some really time. awesome coins. I can't get them out of there. What happened here? Oh, I'm doing it the wrong way. He sent us some hammered coins, um, a King George silver, U.S. half dime, a whole bunch of other foreign coins. Martin's been uh, supporting us since day one. He was our first subscriber from the U.K. And uh, he's always been awesome. And he sent some, uh, some wax to clean up your finds, too. It's like Renaissance wax, which works awesome when you're trying to uh, preserve what you found. Right, guys? Because it's not just saving history, you got to preserve it too. Alright, here's an uh, envelope. Let's do this one. This is from Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning! Yeah, this is from Peyton Manson. And let's not look at this. Here's the letter. Now, he doesn't have a metal detecting channel, he has a sports medicine channel. So, if anybody's Daddy, interested in look. that, check out Tips from Daddy, a Trainer. Look. And he has included something you'll probably not dig metal detecting. Good job, buddy. There's his card. I want to give out all his personal information. Whoa. South Dakota State University. Look at that. Once a student, forever an alum. Beautiful token right there. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Ooh, What's up? Did it come out of the ground? No, it did not come out of the ground. That's from his school. Mm -hmm. So there you go, sports medicine. Yeah. Very well, important the aspect of the hobby as well. Well, unfortunately, I did videos on my cell phone and somebody called me and we didn't realize it because I had my phone on silent that it turned the video off and we opened everything and we lost the video. So we're going to start off to where I think we ended. No, we, we, already, we already had that stuff on there. So let's uh, go through the things that we have already opened now and show what people sent us. I'm going to open this one. Yeah, okay, let's, let's, do, let's do John DeVita's. Yeah, John DeVita's is a huge channel supporter of ours. And he sent a couple packages. I don't even know which was in which. Well, here's one of the letters he sent me. And now this is for the t-shirts. He sent me some awesome t-shirts. Yeah, these awesome t-shirts upside down. Check this one out. This one says, Wonder What's Under. And it has a picture of an eight reals. Coins. Yeah, those are old coins. High five. That's awesome, John. I love these shirts. Yeah. And this one says, the Hoover Boys kick assets. And it's got a whole bunch of coins yeah. down at the bottom. Yeah, John. Yeah. Thank you, John. Love the shirts. And then he sent another one earlier, probably months Thank ago. You, Actually, John it looks like it's from Vita. March. Thank you, so John. So sorry. Um, and there's a bunch of stuff for the kids. Grace, what did Grace get? She got a graded... Buffalo nickel. Buffalo nickel. It's MS63. And I was Mom, telling Grace about. What it is? Yes. Well, we'll, get, well, and Seamus got a buffalo nickel copper round, and he already took it out of the package because he loves it that much. Yeah. But I was telling Grace how when certain coins are valuable, they grade them and they put them in slabs like this. So you got a very special buffalo nickel, and that's her favorite coin is the buffalo nickel, right? Yeah. You can talk. You don't have to be shy. Bye. And here's the, here's the letters from this one. Dang. And of course he came with some gift receipts because he sent some books, but we are not going to return them. First we got a fire truck for Callahan. He's taking a nap. We're taking advantage of nap time right now. And we'll be sure to show him his fire truck book when he wakes up. And we have another book of emergency vehicles that we're going to go right bedtime tonight. Right guys? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. it kind of sucks on it this way because we missed all the excitement of actually opening it, but we still want to go over what people sent us. I'm so sorry this happened. 
there's nothing worse than a YouTube creator losing its content. And well, I guess it's part of the game. But thank you, John. I absolutely love everything you sent. Um, this is one that I've had for a long, long time. This comes from Gorilla Digger, Ben Rollins. And now Ben is a, uh, like, a movie actor. And he sent us some of his movies with a whole bunch of yummy treats for movie night. Right, buddy? Yeah. We got popcorn and raisinets and whoppers that we already opened up. You guys can have some more of those. Daddy can't have any because he's on a diet. And we got goobers, which are chocolate covered peanuts, Daddy's favorite. And sugar babies and junior mints. And you're unbelievable, Ben. And this is one of his uh, feature films, The Orange Man. Now, this is a horror film, so you guys can't watch this. Mommy's probably going to be scared to watch it, but he actually autographed it too. Ben, that is awesome. You guys are out there in the horror films, check out The Orange Man. Ben is the main actor in this movie. And he sent, he sent the commemorative 9-11 uh, token with the patron saint of firefighters on it. And that's a beautiful, that's a silver round. It's a beautiful, huge silver coin. And he sent a movie for the kids to watch as well. A uh, Christmas movie, Up on the Woof Top. This is a doggy, right? We go, we go watch that now, right guys? All right, who wants popcorn? You watching Up on the Woof Top? Yes. All right, go sit down, go sit down, go sit down, go sit down. Seamus, sit down, buddy. You guys make a mess, I'm telling mommy. Enjoy. Say thank you, Mr. Rollins. And here's the letter he sent, and he even went above and beyond and sent cash, cash money for beverages for mommy and daddy. You guys are ridiculous. Ben, I know it's been forever ago since you sent this, and I finally got to open it, and thank you so much. I'm so sorry it's taken so long, and of course you missed the initial reaction, but... I guess it happens. We just gotta roll with the punches, right Grace? Right. Unbelievable package, you all are incredible. Uh, what's this, did we do this one? Okay, this is from D. Johnson. Uh, he, he didn't have a note in here. I know he sent me a bunch of, I don't know if he talked on Facebook or email, but he does coin rings, and he wanted to make me a coin ring out of a copper round, and it's of the Indian head penny copper round. And that thing is freaking huge. I love it. Absolutely love it. But he went above and beyond and made one out of a half dollar. Now this is a pendant, a cross, which is, I've never seen anybody do this before. I've seen the coin rings. That's incredible. That's absolutely incredible. And Daddy's name is I should probably put this on the right finger or it'll get stuck on there and I'll have to cut Daddy's finger off. <laughs> But that is awesome. I don't even know your first name. If I can figure out his site or what he does, I'll throw that up there. But it's yeah. D. Johnson. And thank you. I know you sent these a long time ago. Yeah. I'm so busy with everything. I hate doing it like this. Seamus, cool. come over here. Oh, this one's a cool one. Oh, this one's good. We have another follower from France. And he sent some things he dug. Here's his note. And... These are the smallest Celtic coins ever. And he sent four of them. These are the hardest coins to find, and he's found 12 in the last three years. And, well, this is how small they are. They're hammered silver coins. You want to find the pony one? There's the pony one. I think they're all like that, but some of them have more wear than others. That's, that's unbelievable. Like, I, I can't believe that. How small they are. Let's not lose them. Those are very special. And he sent some uniform buttons from, uh, this is crazy. From the, They're French military buttons, but they're from the, uh, the, from the Revolutionary War with the birdcage shank. And these are all absolutely beautiful buttons from a bunch of different red, uh, regiments. And I've never found one. Like I said, Bobby found the one small cuff button. Those are incredible pieces of history, and thank you so much for sending them to us for our collections. 
I cannot believe those buttons. I feel bad just banging them all around. Because if I found one of them, it'd be like a prized possession. Unbelievable gift. Thank you so much, uh, Rob from France. I believe that says Rob. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. The smallest coins ever made. And he's found 12 of them. Uh, let's do this one. Now this one is from Derek. Yeah. And it's from Washington, Washington State. And it's from his, uh, it's from the Renegade Metal Detecting Group. And he's got a, an offshoot called Outlaws. And he sent an Outlaws hat, Metal Detecting Group. And I'll tell you what, that is a good fitting hat. Thank you so much. And he also sent a token, sales tax tokens from back in the day. Those are so cool. Tax Commission Sales Tax Token. This is one he's actually dug. Uh, thank you so much. Um, what else did he have in his note? Oh, here's the note here. You guys want to stop and read over the note? Uh, thank you so much for the support. Um, and there's two more that we've already opened and didn't get on film because our camera turned off. Uh, here's another one, or another hat in a fire department patch. This is from Brian Quality. There's the note there. And this is quite special because he has a distant relative, Captain Michael Quality, that was one of the firefighters lost in the Twin Towers of 9-11. So he sent a fire department hat from his department where he lives. And he also sent a fire department patch which is Vancouver Fire and Rescue Services. So thank you so much, Brian, for... What are you doing over there, boy? Thank you so much for sharing that story with me. Seamus, come over here, okay? We'll, 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 play, we'll play Yahtzee when we're done, okay? I know this is taking a long time because we lost the footage. Can you come over here? We have one more to go. Thank you, Brian. Seamus, like, one. We have a game named Yahtzee, and Seamus like what? Yeah, Seamus is very good at the game Yahtzee. He always gets Yahtzees, right, buddy? Mm -hmm, yeah. Now, let's do this last one, and then we get to go play, okay, guys? Yeah. Yahtzee. All right, here's this letter. Get to play. And this is from... This is from Denise. Nice, long letter there. Very touching letter. She was a retired 911 operator, and she was working when the uh, the planes hit the World Trade Centers. Hold on, Grace. And she sent a few different things. First was a good luck thimble. It's a pin and a little thimble I can put on my vest because at the time, I'm sure I never found a complete silver thimble. And I found one now, but it was crushed. So she said, put this on your inside of your vest for good luck. And I will surely do that. Thank you, Denise. And then this one's for me. And this one is a God Bless America September 11th commemorative silver dollar. Yeah, and she also sent one very similar for Bill, because Bill is also a firefighter as well. And this one is actually painted on, or you know somehow they have the pictures on, but it is a silver dollar. And actually, it looks like a Walking Liberty silver dollar, or the you know double eagle or whatever it's called. But it's got the United States flag on one side and the Twin Towers on the other side. And she says she carries one of these in her purse or in her wallet for good luck and just to, just for her to remember that day every time she opens her, her purse or wallet. Yeah, it is a tiny box. So Denise, very touching story. Thank you all so much. And of course in the mix up we missed one. So let's do this one. This is from... River City Diggers, Jim and Cindy Sales, and they've sent us things in the past. Um, they sent us some Civil War tokens that they found. That's one of their episodes, episode 66. Well, now they sent us something that they found. I can't believe you guys sent this to me. It's a uh, Edward VII half real from 1808, and it was found in Iowa, which is incredible. He sent it back to the East Coast for us to either put in my coin collection, have the guys draw numbers, or rebury it for somebody else to find in the future. 
So I'll talk to the guys and figure out what we want to do with that. Absolutely incredible find, and he sent us some uh, cigars to uh, talk that over with, um, to talk it over, to, 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 you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, so I just wanted to throw this one in there as well. It was sitting under the table because we put it in the bag for the guys. So that's absolutely incredible. Jim and Cindy, you guys are awesome. Thank you all so much for the support. I'm so sorry this took so long and it sucks that I lost the footage of us actually opening this stuff. It's very touching, it means so much to us, and uh, thank you all so much. Can we thank everybody? Thank you! Thank you! We'll see you next Wednesday on a new Hoover Boys episode. We've got some goodies coming up, so look forward to that. Thank you all so much. Say bye, YouTube! Bye, YouTube! <laughs> thank you! Now we can